there's 16 pads at this park. There's 16 homes on site uh, collecting $362 a month on average. Okay, so they are bringing in $5,800 a month in rent gross. Okay, you times that by 12, right? You're going to be bringing in roughly $69,600 per year in gross rent. Okay, in the mobile home park business, you, you your expenses, you got to make sure you calculate for your expenses when you're underwriting. It's between 35 and usually 50% expenses, depending if it's park owned, it's going to be a little bit more closer to that 50% range because you're going to deal with skirting, siding, roofing, plumbing, interior of the, of the home, you know, countertops, appliances, where if you just own the lot, you really are only focusing on the infrastructure, property taxes, things like that, right? So um, this one's a combination of both, but in this scenario, it's a smaller park. We're going to go 35%. For expenses so you want to times the gross income number by 35 percent to come up with your noi that which is forty five thousand two hundred dollars net operating income so if you didn't have any debt on the park this is what you'd put in your pocket it's gross income uh minus your expenses so we times 0.35 come up with our expenses and that's what we end up so i just take this number times it by 0.35 and again this is our noi okay so now I have an idea of what it's roughly bringing in per year after expenses. So what I'm going to do is I quickly try to determine a valuation on what I'd offer. And so I always am looking for a double digit cap rate. I know it's very difficult to find nowadays, but in this situation, what I'm going to come in with an offer at is $450,000. Okay. That would be a 10% cap rate. You'd get a 10% cap rate or a 10% return. So if I paid cash, um, that would be my return on investment, right? But we're not going to pay cash. We're actually going with the seller financing terms. So this is the terms I'm going for. So $450,000 is my purchase price. Uh, I'm going to go to the proposal of the seller that I'm going to put $100,000 down. Okay. So this is my down payment. Now the seller is going to carry $350,000 in a mortgage. So he's going to bank be the bank for me instead of me going to a bank. Okay, and I'm proposing that he's gonna do that at a 6% interest rate for 30 years. And so if he does this, my monthly or my annual payment roughly will be $25,000 per year for debt. So I will have to pay my expenses as well as my debt service. And so we wanna make sure we're subtracting our expenses and debt service to cash return. So the money after debt, we got to pay our debt, right? So it'd be 45,000 minus 25,000 is roughly $19,800. That would be what we would call um, our cash flow. Cash flow, okay? And so if you want to get a cash on cash return, basically what, are, what kind of return are you getting on the money you put down? You're going to take this number, the 19,000 your cash flow, because it's the gross income minus expenses minus your debt service, right? And that is your what your cash flow number is. So after all of that, this is what I'm taking home, putting in my pocket for the year, $19,800. Now, if you want to determine what your rate of return is, the percentage of money that of return, because we're using leverage, uh, you want to take this number and divide it by the your down payment. How much cash do I have into the deal? It's 100 grand. So in this situation, it would be 19.8%, you would think. However, you want to make sure that you are calculating for capital expenditures. And so what we do is we always uh, overestimate the capital expenditures. So on this deal, I'm going to put another 100000 I'm going to raise another 100000 or bring another 100000 to the table for CapEx. That could be infrastructure, meaning septic tank goes out. That could be um, money to tap into the city if they make us do that. That could be... Um, you know, it could be anything. It could be infrastructure. It could be paving the roads. It could be fencing. It could be lighting. It could be just the whole infrastructure of the park that you need to take care of. You never know if something's going to happen. Um, and so you want to make sure you're, you're safe there. So that's why we're bringing an extra hundred grand to closing. So that would be $200,000 total cash to close. Close. All right. And if we divide that number, we're really getting like a 9.8% return on our money, which is really darn good right now. So that is a good deal. So I would do that deal all day long. Now we just got to convince the seller to do that deal.